Not too long ago, I was speaking at an event in um, on the West Coast. I live in D.C., right outside of D.C. And I'm flying home, and I do a red eye. Who here has ever done a red eye before? Yeah, they suck. So I get up, get home. It's like 6.30 in the morning, 7 in the morning, something like that. And I'm at Dulles Airport. And I, I get out of my car at this 7-Eleven. I go in, I get grab myself a coffee. I come back out in my car. If you were there, imagine on the left of me, there's this big van. On the right of me, there's this big van. And I'm backing my car up. And as I'm backing my car up, I run into this pickup truck right behind me. Completely my fault. All right, I sit there, it startles me of course. But what startles me more was the 350 pound, big old hoss of a guy over top of me on the car. He was the, the driver of the pickup truck. MFing like you wouldn't believe. You MF or you this, you that, you this. So I sit there and I sort of collect myself, check in on my emotions. And I eventually get out of my car as he sort of stepped away. When I get out of my car, I look at him and I raise both hands. And I just look at him in his eyes and I raise both hands. And as I'm connecting with him, I'm looking at his energy. I'm looking at him, I'm looking at his spiritual being. And I just take both hands and I just lower them slowly. And then as I lower them, suddenly he breaks state. And he looks at me, he says, I'm sorry. He says, that's not me. And I look at him and I said, I know. That was your emotions, it's okay. You're safe, it was an accident, it was my fault. We'll take care of it. And suddenly he becomes my best friend. So, what I did in that situation is what you can do when you're working with your clients, whether if you're in probation or whether if you're an administrator or whether wherever position that you are. And this works, oh, by the way, with your family members as well. So just like when I was in that maybe a dangerous situation, I get out of my car, the very first thing I knew I needed to do was one, raise my hands and say, I'm not a threat. Why would I raise my hands rather than this is an open position too? Well, guess what? Because this, I have both my hands up so I can also protect myself. So one, I put my physicalness into a place where I said, I'm open, I'm not a threat to you. Secondly, I connected with his energy. That's being a rapport. The next time you're in a situation where you have to deescalate something, pay attention to the energy.